us are 3D creatures. Our brain is the most powerful 3D computer in the world. We have evolved to think and store memory in three dimensions. In fact, when we look at information on a flat piece of paper or on a computer screen, it takes some time for our brain to translate that back in, into 3D for us to use it. You all have seen TV shows featuring memory artists, those amazing human beings who can remember sequences of thousands of numbers and names. Well, memory artists, they use a trick. They create a 3D image of a familiar street or a room in their head, and then they store the information along the street to be able to recall it later. I'm actually using this trick right now to remember this talk. So why am I telling you this? Because the fact that we can tap into our 3D computer in our head is the biggest promise that a technology called augmented reality holds for all of us. This technology will dramatically change how we interact with data. It will decrease our learning curve, and it will increase our brain's productivity. I believe that augmented reality is going to be the next big platform for productivity in general, but for sharing information in particular. Like Iron Man, we will soon be surrounded by data and 3D models that we can actually grab and interact with. Some say as soon as the year 2025. Another promise that augmented reality holds for us is that instead of isolating us even more, it will free us from the tiny addictive screens in our hands and will take the data and place it all around us. Even though recent news stories would want to make you believe augmented reality is all about chasing Pokemons into traffic. <laughs> a few years ago, I took my wife to visit a Holocaust memorial in Germany. As we walked through the old building of this concentration camp, we stopped in a room that didn't seem to have much significance until we read the tiny sign on the wall. While we were reading the description of the room, we could feel the cold chill of the history of this room running down our necks. At the same time, I remember a group of teenagers, probably a group of high school students, passing through the room. Some of them chatting, but most of them engaged with their phones. None of them had noticed the sign on the wall. We knew that the room we were standing in was a room where prisoners had been dissected after being exposed to brutal and forceful experiments with poisonous gas and experimental drugs. For the students, this information was completely lost. This theme of trying to improve how we share information has always fascinated me. As a communications expert, I've always looked for some sort of solution to make knowledge transfer easier, faster, and more universal. Augmented reality will completely change how we learn, how we work, and perhaps how we think. And I would like to give you a little example of that. This is the work desk of the future. And this is the Meta 2, the most advanced augmented reality headset on the market. This device allows me to put 3D images and holograms around me and put them in space and let me interact with them. So let me take you on a little thought experiment. Imagine I'm an engineering student and I'm writing a paper about um, something that is engineered and is an engineering genius. And because I'm a space nerd, I want to write about the International Space Station. So what I'm doing is I'm probably going to Wikipedia and look up some information, and here it is. I pulled up a browser window, and I pulled up a browser window, and um, I look at it, and now I touch it, and I see a high-rendered 3D model of the International Space Station in front of my face. 
Instead of the picture that only gives me one angle, I have multiple angles now. I can actually look at it and see how it works and how everything works together. And then I can look at it from a different angle and truly understand how this is floating above us in space. Um, because I want to obviously get an A on my paper, I need to know a little more about how this device works or how this building works. So with a flip of my finger, I can explode it and look at all the detail. And if I want to see a little bit what's happening here, I can zoom in and take a look and see how this all is working together. But I don't know what some of these parts are, to be honest. So there's some information embedded in this 3D model. So again, with a flick of my finger, I can pull it up, and I look at it, and I understand how this all works together. So I guess this is the Columbus module. Well, this is an example of what you can do with any 3D model in the world. And the worldwide database of 3D models is only growing by the hour. So this was just a quick example what you can build with a toolkit that is available from us for the worldwide community of developers. This toolkit will let you build truly immersive augmented reality experiences, applications that actually work best with your brain. Augmented reality is currently in the developer phase. Some of the smartest people in the world are creating apps and applications that will dramatically change the way how we interface with data. But soon, this technology will be available for all of us through smart glasses or even contact lenses. I really believe that soon, augmented reality devices will surpass the current 2.6 billion smartphone users in the world. Through augmented reality and neuroscience, we can create amazing things. We will improve education and productivity, and we will unlock amazing untapped potential within the next few years. Similar to how emerging economies skipped the landline and went straight to the cellular phone system, I wonder why don't we skip the tablets and the screens in the classroom and go straight from the chalkboard to the three-dimensional space? Imagine a surgeon explaining an upcoming brain surgery with a 3D brain scan to her patient. Imagine a professor teaching the human genome with a DNA string floating in front of his students. Imagine students walking through a museum or through nature, exploring the concepts with information in augmented reality. The applications are truly endless. This is the future we're going to live in. It is up to us, the thinkers, the artists, the scientists, and the educational experts to create something meaningful, something that will let us build a more connected and a better world. Thank you very much. <laughs>